everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Charmaine and I like to talk about books, unbox subscription boxes, and generally just have a good time. So if you're in for any of that, please consider subscribing. And today is our first official book club meeting video. There we go. That's a good word to call. Okay, I'm going to call it that in the title. Awesome, awesome. So today I'm going to show you the book that we're reading and then I'm going to show you all of the bookish traits that I got together for myself to use while I'm reading my book because I'm making it like a whole experience. Instead of getting a book subscription, I'm making my own. Cool, right? Okay, so this is the book that we're reading for the month of June, and it's Red, White, and Royal Blue. It looks like that. I'm trying to angle it so you don't, don't just get ring light. Mine is actually on an app, like I have the app scribed, which is an audiobook, and that's how I'm reading it. If you're joining book club, please let me know in the comments, and then um, let me know if you got the book or how you got the book or anything like that. And let me know what kind of bookish treats you guys got yourselves or if what you're going to be using. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the thing that Taylor and I actually have, which is kind of cool because she has the exact same mug as I do. So this is the mug that I'll be using while I do my book club, while I read my book. It's my friend's Central Perk mug. I got it from Marshall's, which is kind of neat. And it's like a big mug. Like it's giant. I have one of those, um milk frothers which is why it's all like scratched at the bottom there but yeah so this is perfect it's a good mug i like big mu mugs and i cannot lie that's the truth <laughs> so yeah i'm super excited about that and then for my treats for my drinks i have the endless summer by the dollar tea club looks like this so this one here is hibiscus petals rose hips apple orange pineapple papaya pieces and natural flavors um, does it say what kind it is? No. Okay, so yeah, I think it's just, I guess it's like a fruit tea, but I thought it would be good because uh, it's kind of like summery, and I think maybe the book's set in summer. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't actually read the synopsis, so I don't know. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Then I got, I tried to do a theme. Like I tried, because the book has, is called Red, White, and Royal Blue. I tried to go with red, white, and blue things. So I, like, I mean, the tea isn't, but it's tea. Um, this is my hot chocolate, which is a blue white ch hot chocolate that changes color when you put uh, hot water in it. And he's wearing rainbow. He has rainbow glasses because this is a LGBTQ plus book. And the author is also LGB LGBTQ plus author. So that's cool. I don't know why my word tried, to, my mouth tried to say all of the same letters at the same time. But yeah, so I actually had one of these and it was a turquoise one. It looks so cool. It's white when you pour it out. And then when you pour the water in it, that's when it changes color. It's so super neat. So I'm excited for this because it's a blue hot chocolate to go with the blue theme. And it has rainbow to go with the June theme. Amazing. I'm so impressed with myself. Just that one right there. I'm just like, yes, okay. <laughs> and this, we go to a, my boyfriend and I go to a fancy coffee place in town here. And they actually had this there. And this cost like $1.25 or something. So I'm probably going to go back and get more because honestly... I love hot chocolate and I very rarely get it. So for my snacky treat, I have the Lint Lindor. They look like this and they're called this at the bottom. It's like an Italian ice cream. I'm not even going to try and say that because there's no way that I'm going to get it close. And I think like I'm trying not to mispronounce things every time I talk to you guys. <laughs> so it's actually like a white chocolate ball and on the outside it has tiny little chocolate flakes in it and I'm like allergic to chocolate like it gives me migraines but if it's just a tiny tiny little bit it won't and I won't eat like I don't know there's like 10 of them in here so I'm not going to eat them all at the same time but I picked this up at the Marshalls so I thought that was cool so that goes with the blue theme as well then I have some sheet masks so I have the creme shop vitamin c infused sheet mask so because mine's an audiobook I can put on a sheet mask and like relax and like listen to it and this doesn't have blue in it but it does have red and white so I thought that was good there's that and it's a citrusy one I'm excited to use that because I really like citrus masks and then I got the pure uh pure lease coconut and rice nourishing sheet mask which has the white and blue theme in it which is very cool then I have the rodeo dragon's blood eye masks which has the red theme in it you see what I'm doing here red white and blue it's amazing then I have a blueberry and vanilla bath bomb, so I can listen to it while I'm in the bathtub with my bath bomb. Looks like that. Then I have these socks, which I actually picked up and like, I did like a Dollar Tree haul, 
like last month and I actually haven't even used them yet. So it's not red, but it is pink, but they have blue and white there. So I'm going to use these little like sea captain ones, I think. I don't know why I instantly thought that was a sea captain. It's a boat and an anchor. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to use these sea captain ones. So I think those are cute. And then there's a another set here that also has like the blue and white theme with it. So I think that's cool. I'll use those. I, um, like it's summer and I don't like to wear socks really, but we have like hardwood floors and my feet get cold. So it is nice to have the socks when I'm going to be like reading my book and like relaxing and stuff. Then I have, uh, have a positively peaceful day and it's a frog rainbow bookmark. So I know that mine's an audiobook, but I do actually read other books like just then my book club book during the month. So I'm going to use this as my, this is going to be my June bookmark. I think because I have so many bookmarks, I think every month I'm going to pick a different one and show it to you guys when I pick out like my cute stuff that I'm going to use. So there's that. And the last thing I have here is the Count Your Rainbows, a gratitude journal, which is this, which I bought myself like a year ago and I have not used because it was too pretty and I didn't want to use that. And I'm not living that lifestyle anymore. So it's like that. It has like little prompts in it. It has like sayings in it. And it says, find the beauty in the everyday, every day. Find the beauty in the everyday, every day. There we go. Life happens, but what if we could better focus on the good in our lives instead of the daily struggles? A simple act of writing down things for which we are grateful for can positively change our perspectives and lift our, lift our health and happiness. In this guided journal, inspiring quotes, art, and writing prompts are how or show how easy it is to recognize and celebrate the varied, unique, and beautiful aspects of the life we experience each day. So I'm excited to use this. One, it's rainbow, so it's perfect for the June theme. It goes along with the theme of everything. And two, I really actually am excited to start using a gratitude journal. You guys know that I have like um, like a daily planner kind of thing that I use, but I have so many cool stickers. It smells really good right here. I think it must be this. It is this. This smells amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm digressing. But like, honestly, I was like, wow. <laughs> okay, I'm super excited to use this now. It smells like pie. Oh, okay. Anyway, anyway sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I get distracted easy. But yeah, I'm really excited to use this because I, it's not that I'm finding myself being more negative. I just have like a lot of stuff that's going on in my life right now that's really stressful. So I'm like, I got a little bit of a temper and I'm having a hard time like controlling that sometimes and I need to find something that's going to help me pay more attention to like the positive stuff which is actually like when I was searching through the stuff that I was going to pick out today I was actually looking for a book journal to like keep stuff track but then I saw this and I was like oh my gosh this is perfect so I'm going to use this all year and I'm just going to start it this month and then I'll just follow the prompts of stuff. So like this one here says, get outside today even if it's just for a few minutes. Make a mental note of something you enjoy about being outdoors Maybe the sun on your skin, the wind on your face, or the smell of the air and write about it. And then it has like a little uh, quote beside it that says, walk as if you are kissing the earth with your feet. So yeah, I think that's kind of neat. And like when they're fancy journals like this, sometimes I don't want to use them because I'm like, oh, my writing's messy and then I'll write in there and it'll be messy, but I'm not living that life anymore. We're using our good stuff from now on. Everybody, me and you, all of us, we're using our good stuff from now on because there's no point in saving it for like when, what am I going to save this for? I should use it. I got it. I should use it. So that's what's happening. I'm lecturing myself. <laughs> you guys know I do that though. I don't need to tell you about that. Yeah. So let me know what you guys are picking for your bookish stuff. Are you guys planning on doing like a little like pam uh, pamper yourself kind of thing? Or do you have like a different thing that you do for reading books? Like a candle is also a good idea. Maybe some like chips or something. I don't know. Like, tell me what you guys are planning on doing. Like, do you do other stuff? Like, I know there's like, you could grab a bottle of wine and have a glass of wine while you're reading. That's actually kind of a good one. And I work at a liquor store. I should have done that. Look at me. Anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys are going to do for your book club, like treats for yourself and make your own little book box like we are. Because I'm so excited to see what Taylor picks. We talked about it this morning before I started filming. And I was like, this is kind of my idea. But like, I forgot to tell her about this because I didn't even think of this, you know. So I'm excited because she's going to pick different stuff and then we're like going to chat and like I mean I talk to her all the time. So it'll be cool. So yeah today is showing you what I'm going to be using while I'm reading the book and then a week from now we'll have the questions up just so you guys know. And then like two weeks after that we'll do the actual book review. So the book review will actually be in July because we'll always be just a little bit behind. If you guys want to speed it up a little bit let me know. 
it just gives more people um, a chance to get the book and I everybody reads kind of at a different pace so it's a little bit easier to do that but I like to for myself I write down the questions and then when I'm reading along I write down my answers so that I can remember when I'm talking about the book and like talking to you guys about it what it's gonna be like so yeah that's very cool. I'm so excited about this. Like you guys, I am so excited about book club. I am so, the response on book club was really, really high. Like I'm really excited that you guys are going to be in for this. We are definitely going to start, like I think in July I'll pick the book and then in August what we'll do is we'll have like a voting pool, poll, voting something where you guys can like, we'll each pick like a book to read or whatever and you guys can pick like which one that we read because if you guys are going to be part of this too we all need to have like a say or you guys can like give us suggestions on books to read and then we'll like put them in the kitty and then we'll like pull one out or something I don't know I don't know we're still figuring it out as it goes but like there's so many cool ideas I have I'm so excited about book club I am so grateful for you guys I'm so happy that this is happening I'm so happy <laughs> okay that's it please go and check out Taylor's video and see what she picked for her cool bookish stuff because we also want to see that uh, like this video and check out my description box for other content creators. Thank you guys so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I really, really appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate you. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Sometimes the clicker just doesn't work and I just sit here with a smile on my face. <laughs>